Team JBS on JBS Reactions. This is a. I'm I'm realizing that JBS Reactions is gonna be on like me reacting to other content creators and just kind of giving them love and like you know just watching their content, man. I, I watched so many different other YouTubers' content that I was kind of like I really should just kind of post my thoughts on it. So um, yeah, shouts outs to my man Dequan uh, Wishire. Like the man is. Uh, I think he's the funniest YouTuber, for real, bro. Like, and it's crazy because man's like literally like on the East Coast with me. So it's just it's just weird that we've never actually even met. If we have, no, 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 we haven't met. Like we've probably been in the same areas or vicinities or cons or whatever. But dude, I've never been able to actually get through this full reaction or review. Um, but it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. I wanted you guys to kind of catch my reactions to it. Um, hopefully I can get through the whole entire thing. Let me, uh, restart it up right now. But, um, I do have a video for, um, my man Daquan, uh, from something he posted about maybe like four months ago or whatever. He's battling like a really heavy depression. Um, I just haven't posted it yet, but I, I will pretty soon. All right, here we go. Alright, so I know I've been going well, but I'm not about to be like every other YouTuber and start off a review about everything that's been going on in my life because you clicked on an Avengers Endgame review, not a Daquan Wilshire's Life review. So, let's jump straight to this review. Dog, this movie was a dick jerk to tear jerker. Bro, I, whoa, man, I, I, I got a story I'm gonna be telling y'all about like when I first take ecstasy, but like, that shit was clearly me in my head or something. But like, yo, this movie was definitely had me crying the whole time. Alright, look, so before we jump into this, just remember, you clicked on an adventurous endgame review. I ain't even gonna keep saying spoiler alert, nigga. You should know I'm break. I'm spoiling everything, nigga. Iron Man dies. I just wanted y'all to see how serious I was about spoiling literally any and everything about this movie. You know what I'm saying? Because every time I do views, things will be like, oh shit, but spoiler. I, um, I did. In the title, it says mad spoilers. I just said. I'm going to spoil everything. If you choose to continue watching this video after I just said that and you have not seen this movie, then that is completely on you. Now, that being said, let's go ahead and start this off. All right, so we start the movie off with Hawkeye training his daughter. Then, boom, his family gets faded into dust. Then, we go to Tony Stark and Nebula floating through space. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all, right? This part... It honestly had me thinking my nigga Tony Stark was about to be gone. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, break. I'm sitting there like, yo, like, y'all can't kill this thing off in the beginning. Like, this ain't a horror movie. This thing ain't black. Then Captain Marvel came and saved him. And I was like, all right, bet. <laughs> now we good. Then we go to the scene where the Avengers assembled before they went to go kill Thanos. Bruh, they all assembled and Captain Marvel was like, hold up. I'm finna go kill this nigga Thanos real quick. I'm gonna holler at y'all. Then they was like, yo, how you gonna know where he is? She said, I know a couple people. Then Nebula comes out of nowhere and was like, I know where he is. I bet the fuck you do, Batman. What the fuck? Where's Alfred? At? So then they set out on a mission to kill Thanos. And this man is chilling off on some distant planet by himself, minding his own business. And then Captain Marvel comes and tackles the shit out of this nigga. She was on this man's ass. Bruh, they bust through, hold Thanos down, Thor come through, slice the nigga arm off. Then Nebula comes out of nowhere saying, Where are they? I, 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 know, I know Captain America was the one who said that, but like, they definitely should have just let Nebula do it. Because I got him in a perfect Batman reference. Then Thanos tells them that he destroyed the stones two days ago, and of course everybody thinks he's lying. Then Batman, then Nebula was like, Oh, my father is many of things. Uh, like a bitch-ass fucking space damn purple alien bald daddy toy lanes hairline having ass nigga. But the nigga don't be lying though, you know what I'm saying? Then Thanos was <laughs> like, yo, thank you for acknowledging a real nigga. I destroyed your mom two different types of ways in a literal and sexual sense. And then this nigga Thor just straight chopped this nigga's head off. So now my man Thanos is killed. The damage has been done. Now we go five years into the future. So now, five years later, Ant-Man comes back. Tony Stark, who no one thinks has a heart, 
has a family. My nigga been digging all in Pepper's pot. Yes, go get that joint, bro. Five years straight. Now they got a daughter. He don't want to time travel because he don't want to ruin that. And I respect that man for that. That's how y'all should have known this nigga got a heart. But of course, not too long after that, he agrees to help them. He comes through. They figure out how to time travel. And now it's time to assemble the remaining Avengers. Now, before we keep going, I got something I want to ask y'all real quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, am I tripping or... Did they make the Hulk soft as shit this movie? <laughs> My man ain't do no type savage shit the entire movie, and they know damn well we expect to see a rematch between him and Thanos. Where the fuck was that? First of all, he's gotten significantly smaller as Professor Hulk. And like, I understand he doesn't have any of the savagery that the Hulk has, but like at the same time, I want to see this nigga fuck some shit up. Now, let's go ahead and get back to where we were at, which is the reason why I just said what I was saying. Why the hell was the Hulk on the back of a truck when they went to New Asgard? Like, this nigga can't run fast and keep jumping high as a month. I don't get it. Like, trust me, I understand that y'all were trying to make him more banner-like, but at the same time, let's not forget that this man has superhuman abilities. So Rocket and the Hulk go to New Asgard to find Thor, but Thor isn't, uh, Thor is the old new mask. The mighty god of thunder. He's more like the guardian angel of the pantry. You know what I'm saying? Like my man went from an ass guardian to a snack guardian. This nigga is fat and a drunk at that. So Rocket and the Hulk, they try to get him out of this little I funk that he's in. Then the Hulk mentions the... Thanos. And clearly no one's mentioned that name since Thanos died because <laughs> Thor took offense to it and decided to put his hands on the Hulk. And then the Hulk was like, yeah, hold on, bro. <laughs> I feel you and all, but like at the same time, don't touch me, bro. Like, my nigga, I'll do you dirtier than I did in Ragnarok. Don't get it twisted, bro. So, at the end of that scene, they ultimately get Thor on board with them. Then, we get to see Hawkeye as Ronin. Now, I, I understand that my man is a savage, but, like, I don't understand the significance of wiping that dead guy's blood on his sleeve. Like, my nigga, what if you killed it being young boy? Like, you don't even think about that type of shit. You could get AIDS or some shit. Plus, as I think about it, bro, it was raining. Like, nigga, that shit was going to wash off anyways. Like, if anything, I'm wiping a dead nigga's blood on the dead nigga. Ain't no way in the hell I'm going to wipe this nigga shit on me. Then Black Widow comes and <laughs> him and Black Widow were talking. She tells him about everything with Thanos, time travel and everything. Then he says, don't give me the box now. And she was like, oh, I should have given it to you soon. I'm like, yo, why are y'all talking about the pussy right now? Like, yo, what the fuck are anything in the whole universe of this thing? But, like, I think somebody else did try to tell me that he said hope. But y'all know me. I'll be hearing all the wrong shit all the time. <laughs> so, now that all the Avengers are assembled, it's time to start playing this time travel trip. And during the planning process, I feel like War Machine said literally everything I would have said. Go back in time and off this nigga Thanos as a baby. Ain't hey, shit wrong with that, bro. Then it was like, oh, no, that's messed up. Nigga, I think it's Thanos, bro. Ain't like this nigga wiped out half of the Oval Office. We don't even know Donald Trump survived. Like, dead ass, bro. Kill this nigga. But that isn't how time travel works in the end game. So, they had to travel back in time to collect the stones. So, they used the quantum realm to travel back in time to specific points in their lives to where they could retrieve the stones. But, of course, something has to happen. War Machine of the Dark Knight, I mean, Nebula, Juan Morag, waited for Peter Quill to come show them where the Power Stone is. They accomplished their mission, but while they're there, one of future Nebula's memories started playing from 2014 Nebula's memory bank, which ultimately led Thanos to find out. Finding out yep. what you may ask? Everything, bro. This thing went through her entire memory bank. Like, this is exactly the reason why I could never be a cyborg. Because, like, bro, this shit got to come up like a delete history, bro. Because this thing would look through, like, two of my memories and me home by myself. Like, nigga, why did you watch that? Now, now Nebula, I understand being loyal to people and especially family. But, like, yo... Did Thanos replace your vagina with like a cyborg one or something? Cause ain't no way you ain't pregnant from all that fucking dick riding. When I tell y'all she straight rolled this man dick. I mean this nigga dick had to come on like a saddle or something. Bruh, she betrayed her future self for Thanos. And they got the nerd to go up to him talking about, how do I look? Like a deceitful ass bitch. Like what the fuck you mean? I never, tr I can't trust you as far as I can. I mean he probably can throw ass pretty far. So like a bitch, I never, I can't trust you though. Now, one thing I can say about this whole time traveling thing is that like, I honestly don't think I could do it. Cause like I'm gonna fuck up like say for instance in Thor's situation, like when he was when he was trying to tell his mom what was gonna happen and she just kept saying, No, I don't need to know. Don't tell me. I would have been like, Bitch, you about to die! Like what the fuck you mean don't tell you? <laughs> Bitch, you're literally gonna die today. Like yo, you say that you're the wisest person to ask her, but you about to be the deadest person to ask her. Like the fuck? Like not only could I not like do the whole time traveling thing, but I just couldn't be in this movie in general. Cause like say for instance, like even when Black Widow and Hawkeye won Vormir, 
Like, we all know somebody was going to have to sacrifice. Yeah, sometimes. absolutely. Like, I felt the same way. You ain't going to catch me fighting that motherfucker to die. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, <laughs> if you want to do that, by all means, I'm going to holler at you, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Plus, like, I'm an overthinker. So, like, after Red Skull told them that they had to sacrifice something that they loved, I'd have been looking at this nigga Hawkeye like, bro, you done been with that bow for about 100 years, bro. I know you love that shit. Nigga, throw that shit off this fucking cliff because I ain't finna jump. So anyway, they succeed in their mission of collecting all the Infinity Stones. 2014 Nebula ends up going with them to the future instead of their Nebula. They correct what Thanos has done. Then 2014 Nebula brings Thanos to the future. Now let me tell y'all why this is my man Thanos' hardest scene throughout this entire movie. Bro, my man Thanos comes all the way from the past. <laughs> Blows up the entire Avengers lookout, <laughs> then sits in the middle of the rubble, waiting for everybody to run his face. And what made it even harder is the fact that when he got there, the first thing he did was put down his weapon and take off his helmet. He then, when he saw the Avengers coming after him, my man still sat there, talked to these niggas, and then slowly proceeded to put back on his shit to fuck these niggas up. Now, while all of this is going on, my man Hawkeye, he ends up with the gauntlet. But Hawkeye, I got a little quick question for you, bro. How many arrows do you be keeping with you? Because, like, my nigga, how do you never run out? I only seen, like, about 10, 15 of them bitches in there. Nigga done thrown, like, like at least... 20 of them and all of these creatures that are chasing after you, nigga. How did not one of those arrows go missing? So anyway, Captain America, Thor, and Iron Man, they're over there fighting Thanos. And Thor, Thor getting boss, bro. Like, I'm just gonna front. Like, this nigga Thanos is straight pooping this nigga's ass. <laughs> Damn. Out of nowhere, bro. While he's getting his godly ass handed to him, man. my man... Captain America, summon Mjolnir, and work this nigga Thanos. Now, now Thor, he tries to say that he's the strongest Avenger all the time. And I'm not going to lie, before this scene, I believed him. But, dog, not one single Avenger has folded that nigga Thanos like Captain America did when he had no way in his shield. Now, of course, during that battle, the tables get turned and Thanos gets the upper hand. I'm not going to lie, little brother. When he broke my man's shield down, I, I, I thought it was over for Captain. You know what I'm saying? Then... Thanos got on his Naruto shit and started monologuing. That's when I'm like, all right, something got to happen right here. <laughs> then Thanos is like, all right, let me bring my oh niggas my out gosh. here. He brings all of his whole entire army. And this is why Captain America is the realest of ever. That's real. My man stood up, broken shield and everything, ready to still fight an entire army by yeah. himself. Then what happens? The Falcon comes on the radio and starts trying to talk to him. And I'm like, bruh, stop playing. Nigga, stop playing. Like, bro, the whole time he's doing that, I'm like, yo, stop playing, nigga. No, nigga, what? Because I, I ain't in front. At this point, I forgot the heroes were even back. Then, nigga, when this nigga said, look on the left. And then the first person that came out with the child, I was like, yes, nigga, yes, yes. Bruh, Black Panther comes out. Then the Falcon. Then the Wakanda army. Like, yo, thank you, Marvel, for, you know what I'm saying, showing appreciation. I said, oh, you know, you feel me? But like, bro, then these niggas come out. Then everybody comes out. to child start yelling out, in my bag, the nigga was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Then my man, Dr. Strange, finally comes out with the portals. Then he gonna ask Wong, yo, is everybody here? Wong was like, yo, I mean, we finna jade these niggas right now. You know what I'm saying? How many more days do you need? You feel me? So at this point in the movie, I'm already ready to jump out of my seat, right? Then they gonna throw the icing on the cake. Bro, I'm sitting there at the edge. I'm talking about holding on to my shit. <laughs> and Captain America standing there. He says, Avengers. Assemble. Assemble. Nigga, <laughs> 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 I jumped out of my seat so fucking fast. Nigga, I know this nigga asked me to assemble. I tried to run to the fucking screen. So, oh, that's man. when the battle of the two armies began. And ultimately, Thanos ended up getting the gauntlet once again. But he tried to snap. And this time, he was like, I am. A whole ass nigga. Snap! Nothing happened. Iron Man ends up with the stones in his own gauntlet. Then he says, I am. <laughs> Gonna need a big ass broom to sweep all y'all niggas the fuck out. When I turn y'all niggas to dust, what's wrong with y'all niggas? Tony Stark snaps and wipes out Thanos and his entire army from existence. Nah, bro, you ain't gonna, I ain't gonna try to cry, bro. <clears throat> Dog, I gotta really stop doing this, because I don't know why the fuck I keep crying like when I'm doing videos and shit. Y'all see, like, the real tears of my... The fuck? <laughs> Dog, I'm sitting in the theater. <laughs> I'm watching my man Iron Man go, and I'm just like, damn, bro. 
Like, the thing is, it was bad because, like, I was trying my hardest not to cry. Like, you know how, like, whenever your eyes tear up enough to where, like, if you blink, a tear gonna come out. I was sitting there trying. And the thing is, like, bro, you could tell I tried my hardest not to cry because, like, nigga, I was trying to laugh at everything. Like, when nigga was down, I was like, <laughs> like, I'm, the cry, like, the, the laugh ended up turning into a cough because I was like, because <laughs> I was trying not to cry. Like, bro, it was hard as shit. Then, as I'm trying already not to cry, then Pepper gonna go to nigga was like, <laughs> we gonna be high. Oh. Rest easy. I was like, no, the fuck we not. Bitch, I'm not finna be high. Don't, don't, don't just think about twenty kids. Think about me. And after that, I'm thinking, I right, bet all the sentimental shit gotta be over with. Like, bro, there's no way they're about to make me cry harder than I just did for Tony Stark. Peter came out, and then that was it. That was it. Your man Peter Parker came out. Then it's like Captain America. Like, trust me, bro, I already know this whole movie. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. But yeah, so like the whole time. What about the, whatchamacallit? I can't even finish this review. Like, bro, I already knew in this movie, legacies were going to end, but like, dog. Scarlet Witch had to go. My man Iron Man. Then Captain America had to turn old and then pass down the legacy. To Captain African America, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so after Captain America tells Falcon that he basically, you know, went back in time and he lived his life out, then Falcon asked the question any real nigga would. Did you like the motherfucking cheeks up, nigga? Bro, you went back in time and got a second chance with the love of your life. You better have given her the load of your life. The fuck wrong with you? And with that, that brings this movie Phase three, culmination of 22 movies, 11 years of work. It's crazy. All to an end. And with that being said, now this video is going to come to an end. So, all of you be on the lookout for my new videos coming. I hope you all enjoyed this review. Please do oh not forget God. to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because I'm going to keep saying that. Now, I already said I didn't want to keep saying that sound like a YouTuber. But fuck it. You know what I am? I'm a nigga. I know y'all thought I was about to say I'm a YouTuber. Like, I'm a nigga at the end of the day. You feel me? I'm saying, I ain't nothing but a nigga. Nah, but seriously, man. Thank you all for the continued support. And thank you for supporting me even the times when I'm not consistently posting. Yeah. Like, thank you. I can't thank y'all. Yeah, the, the dude is so, so talented, bro. Me. Just by watching I'll, I'll my break videos, up my like, commentary. You really don't understand. Really y'all pay a lot of my bills. Hey, you feel me? But like I said, thank you all. I appreciate you. And the next video coming is going to be my story about the first time I took ecstasy. So I hope y'all are ready for that. I knew in the beginning I was different Niggas told me slow down, I wouldn't listen Put my foot on the gas and now I get it I look back for my niggas and they was missing I double back and went and got him, I won't leave him Cause don't nothing last forever, you gon' need him Hilarious YouTubers out there And the crazy thing is I, I think I reacted to the wrong video I think I was supposed to react to um His Infinity War video So I, I thought that it was the end game one, but I think it was the Infinity War. But um, I just really wanted to go and react to this so you guys know just how talented. I mean, you should know. I mean, dude, sh I'm not sure how many subscribers he has now, but I know that video right there is like close to 430,000. But if you've never seen his videos, the man is hilarious. And he's, he's unapologetically willing to talk about anything and everything, even including himself. Now, he doesn't, like, broadcast, you know, like, outwardly, you know, everything. But when the time comes, he really does, you know, put his emotions really out there. And he really is genuine about whatever circumstance he's kind of gone through, whatever he's going through at the time. And, like, his videos about everything, anime, movie, entertainment, life, is just the most entertaining thing. Like, bro, I, it would be a dream. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. It'd be a dream to collaborate and just do a video with this dude. Like, I would probably be like, all right, yo, let's do like a full commentary video, like through Zoom or through Skype, watching like some random anime. Like, probably, what would I look at with him? What anime would I want to look at with him? Because he's just so funny, bro. Like, he, he knows his stuff well. And at the same exact time, like, this is how that you can see, like, he painted a whole picture in your head 
Like you didn't, there's no, there's no video up here showing any kind of footage of the end game at all. But everything that he went through, you pitched it in your head, and then he spinning it in a way that like only certain people are talented enough to paint a picture that well, that vividly, and that funny in that similar of time. That was only 16 minutes worth of a three-hour-long movie, bro. Like, and he he hit all the major notes pretty much, and he made it so hilarious. And that's. Every video he does, he does that. Like, he's a great storyteller. He's a great um, entertainer, and he's just genuine, man. Like, for real, for real. If I would pick a, a show, ooh, ooh, that gives me to an idea, bro. Ooh, I would go and do commentary with him on the show Erased. That's what I would do. Either that or Promise Neverland. Erased or Promise Neverland. That would be what I would want to do. And this is what I would do. This is the way I would kind of line it up. I probably had to do it on the Team JVS page, but I would have my man Lucas Moore, who's probably one of the most, <laughs> he hates anime, and yet he's one of the best critics I know. Daquan is one of the most talented lovers of anime, and he's a great storyteller, and I'm somewhere in between both. And I think that that would be one of the most entertaining commentary, like, watch party, like, events, like, ever. Like, for real, for like, to have all three of us in one video, I think that would be really dope. But either way, I just wanted to bring, like, some representation, you know what I'm saying, like, to him. And definitely go to the description bar below, subscribe to his content. Amazing, amazing stuff. And it's only getting better. And I definitely one day would like to collaborate with him one way or another. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But you guys be safe. Make sure you're staying in home as best you can. And use wise judgment and whatever you're doing out there. Okay, guys? Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for you guys. Peace.